this is the only place I could stand to get remotely decent lighting for this video, so you're gonna have to excuse this. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different and a little more beauty guru-esque, so for those of you who like that, please stick around. I know these are types of videos that I absolutely love watching, so I hope you guys like watching them too. And today I am going to be doing a room tour. It has taken me so long to get my bedroom to an appropriate state as to where I actually want to show it off to other people, and it's there right now. So I figured, why not? not do a room tour. I mean, honestly, it's my channel. I can do what I want to do. Also, this is actually a collab with one of my great friends, Michaela, who is actually Thursdays over on my collab channel called Quite the Collab. You should definitely go check her out. Her channel is called Pretty Beyond Pastel, and the link to her video will be below. So make sure when you go over there, you give it a big thumbs up and tell her Riley sent you because you love me and you're gonna love her. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you get, leave us a big thumbs up too. Too, because this is something that I'm really excited for. I'm really excited to show you guys my room. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. So this is the first thing you see when you walk up to my room. Of course, it's the Tumblr logo and my business card, so let's get inside. This is my view when you first walk into my room, but first let's check out some of the things that are over behind my door. On the back of my door, I have my lovely Supernatural poster. And up above that, I have some pictures of Ali Sykes, cause he my bae. And over to my left here, I actually have a whiteboard wall that me and my grandpa painted with magnetic primer and whiteboard paint. And on it, I just have my daily to-do list to make sure that I stay on track for what I'm supposed to do for the day. I've also got a crap load of magnets. Over here to the left is my wonderful guitar. This is my baby. I've had her for a couple of years, and she gives me absolute life. And that's all for this little nook behind my door. Now we move on over to my bookshelf. I got this bookshelf from Ikea years ago when we were first redoing my room. And let me tell you, it is packed. I'm just gonna take you guys through really quick what is in here and all of that good stuff. The first thing on here is my ultimate crayon collection of 152 crayons because I am an actual child. And then right next to it is my collectible Dumbo figurine. If you guys haven't been able to tell already, elephants are my absolute favorite animal and my aunt got this for me when I was probably six or seven. Move on over a little bit more and I have some tea light candles and the candle box that my E's Troy Savon candle came in. I also have a box of tissues and this lovely painting that my friend and fellow YouTuber Heather did for me with my little YouTube play button and at on it. It's wonderful. It's one of my favorite things. And over here on the other side of it, I just have some Lego sets from The Hobbit, some big dye, a stuffed fish, and my signed Twisted poster when I went and saw Twisted in Chicago by Team Star Kid. And that is it for the top of my bookcase. Getting into my shelves, I have a lot more stuff, and some of it you can't see because it's covered up by the plant, but we'll get to it. Over in this area, I have a ton of books stacked in front of, behind each other, all the way down. Books, books, books everywhere. And starting up here are my Harry Potter shelves. I have three of them. Collectible memorabilia, I have puzzles, I have figurines, and two complete sets of the books. Over here I have what I like to call my pop culture shelf. So pretty much anything having to do with Supernatural, Doctor Who, Sherlock, any pop culture shows that I'm into at the moment, any memorabilia that I have goes in here. One right below it is actually where I store all of my camera equipment, including the camera that I'm filming on right now, which is a Canon Rebel T5i, and my vlogging camera, which is an old Panasonic Lumix. To the left of that, I have what I call my YouTube shelf with my wonderful picture of Tyler Oakley and myself that my grandma got me for Christmas, copies of Tyler's books, and a bunch of other YouTuber books, including the Common Culture Volume 4 album and pin. Come over a little bit more to the left, it is more electronic stuff. I have some of my business cards in there, I've got some cables, some cords, some more chargers, and that's usually where I keep my wallet. And then down here are some of my favorite books. 
some random notebooks and other junk, and a ton of records. Moving over to the left here, you'll see where I have one of my favorite plants. It is a spider plant. It was my mom's, but she wasn't taking care of it, so I took it from her. I have my Dan and Phil backpack along with some shipping boxes so I can ship stuff out to people, and my laptop with its charger resting on the ottoman for my chair. Next we come to my chair. This is all probably familiar to you guys. This is where I film a lot of my videos, and this is all what you see in the background. I have my lovely at symbol that my grandma actually got for me for my last birthday, which I love. My poster with lyrics from the song Youth by Troy Sivan that is signed by Troy as part of my VIP package that I got when I went to his concert. This lovely little piece of artwork that my lovely co-worker did for me. I'm actually using this picture as a base for some of my channel art right now, and it's all credit to her. And here I have my Common Culture Volume 4 poster that is signed by Connor Franta. Above that, as you might be able to see, I have strings of fairy lights that are dead and they like to piss me off. And this right here is my vision board. I was originally going to make a video about my vision board, but I decided against it because it's really personal, but if you can interpret what it is on there, go ahead. And the quote I actually have on here written on my chalkboard tape is, be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. By Dr. Seuss. Take it over a little to the left and you will see I have my light up hashtag that I actually got from five below so I think it was like five bucks it was a good deal I bought it I love it and hanging from that is my VIP lanyard I got when I saw Troy go down a little bit more and you will have my record nook where I keep my favorite records which are actually blue neighborhood by Troy Sivan the white snake name album and modern vampires of the city by vampire weekend and you will see my record player which is in fact Winnie the Pooh it's all I've got right now but it works and I love it over to the left here is my little nightstand where I keep some little trinkets and stuff that I might need before I go to bed. And I also have this freaking awesome crayon truck that my grandpa made for me on my mom's side. He's wonderful. He loves working with wood and usually he only makes stuff for the great grandkids now, but he decided to make one of these for me and you would not believe how excited I was. Up here I've got a baby spider plant that's growing in this gorgeous elephant pot that my grandma got for me. Then some of my current reeds because I'm a middle-aged suburban mom of four. And just some other stuff like some Motrin, some melatonin, a pillow spray, my extra chargers, and my Kindle. Up on the wall here I have some of my favorite pictures and Instagrams with the sneaky little Ben J. Pierce hiding in there. And then I have my Vampire Weekend poster. Next we are moving on to this lovely area right here which is my cocoon, also known as my bed. The bedding I have on my bed is actually the same bedding that Dan Howell uses. It is in fact from Ikea. I have my favorite stuffed animal on there. His name is Roger. He's a little elephant. And I also have my favorite blanket on there, which is the Exploding Tardis Van Gogh blanket. And this lovely thing around it, you may be wondering, what is that? It is my bed tent. It is absolutely wonderful. It is by Privacy Pop, and you just plop your mattress in on there, and you can enclose it up and envelop yourself in this lovely privacy cocoon. I got it for Christmas, and it is my absolute favorite thing on the planet. Over here behind my bed, we have my bin of shoes, because David decided to break my shoe rack one day in the middle of summer. I have one of my smaller, not as nice guitars, and this is where I usually keep my tripod. Going up, I have a little award that I won in 2013 for winning a concentration block in marching band. And then I have a poster that, yes, my ex made it for me, but you know what? It's a good motto, so I might as well keep it. And now we're getting to the big guns, my closet. In my closet hanging up, I just have all of my crewnecks and sweaters and dress shirts. And in the drawers, everything is literally perfectly organized because I am a mess and if it's not organized I break down. Under that I have the hamper that I keep my dirty clothes in and a bag with all of my little space stuff so it's all in one place so I know where to find it. If you move up a little bit more I'm storing a lot of things and then I also have my plethora of stuffed animals because like I said before I'm a literal child. And finally onto my last portion of my room, my desk. The first thing I have on my desk is a cup of water because you need to drink water. Stay hydrated, kids. And then I have my favorite candle right now at the moment, which is of course the Troy Savon Ease candle. I have a box of tissues and some lotion because I'm dry. Right here is actually my iMac and it is about 10 years old. Runs really slow, but this is what I do the majority of my editing. 
on for my main channel and for quite the collab. It runs great, I use iMovie to edit on it, and granted it's a little slow, but it works. And over here is just a pile of shits. I've got some colored chalk to write on this little box and my vision board. I've got my 500 writing prompts book and all of my little notebooks that I tend to write in throughout the day, including my YouTube planning notebook. I've got some nice water bottles to get that tumbler aesthetic, and my little change jar. This change jar I actually made it out of a Pringles can forever ago, so if you guys want me to do a little DIY video on that, you can, because maybe I'll just do it anyway, because I really want to, so. And up here is a little memorial for my dog Sadie, who we had to put down at the beginning of December. She was my best friend, and I just decided to keep her collar here and a little picture of her to remember her by. Well, that was my room tour, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So if you want to keep in touch with me, make sure you follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. The links to every social media I have will be below, as well as the link to Michaela's video. So you should go check that out. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what are three of your favorite things that you have in your room. I look forward to reading those comments. I love you guys, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!